What is up, YouTube? Thank you for coming back. Guys, let me tell you. Tell me this. What is the first thing you think about when you hear Peru? Lomo Saltado. Right? Alright, anybody who's ever went to a Peruvian restaurant knows what Lomo Saltado is. But, believe it or not, you most likely had a crappy, crappy Lomo. Why is it called Lomo Saltado? First of all, Lomo is tenderloin in Spanish. It's the same thing as a filet mignon. So you can imagine, it's one of the most expensive cuts of beef. The dish is going to be expensive. Let's see. Lomo saltado. Lomo is tenderloin. What the hell is saltado? Exactly. Stir fry. I got my wok over here. I already got my semi-industrial flame. I'm going to get that aroma that I need. Believe it or not, to make a lomo saltado in-house, is very difficult for it to actually taste like a restaurant. Your best bet is actually just to go to the restaurant. But there are secrets to make a good lomo in-house. I am going to use the same flame, but I'm only going to use it at a small temperature because most house stoves don't get that hot. I'm going to teach you the closest thing you're going to get to a good lomo saltado making it at home. Follow me. Like that. What are the essential things you need for a lomo saltado? Tenderloin, remember, dry before you stir fry. Red onion wedges and plum tomato wedges. Ají amarillo, but it's gonna give lomo that little, little spice that it really needs. Garlic, and to make it as traditional as it was, a lot of people don't put this anymore, and it's truly a shame because it goes great in it, scallions. And the sauce, I already have it mixed up. This is dangerous. I'm gonna show you guys how to do the house version first, but either way, you can really hurt yourself, guys. Please, always have a fire extinguisher with you. And lay your frying pan, heat up until it starts smoking. If you have cast iron skillet, that's perfect. You can let that smoke up. That's gonna retain most of the heat and that's gonna help you make a better lomo inside of your house. Have a little bit of pork fat to add the fat in the beef. Let's see it. All right, you guys see what I'm doing? I'm only adding a little bit of meat at a time. If you have to do it for a family, I hate to tell you guys, but it can't be done all at once. You're gonna have to do it little by little. You add a lot of cold beef at once, it's gonna cool down the spot, the pan, sorry. And if you cool it down, man, it's gonna get tough. Okay, this is pretty good. A little bit of oil. Pan is really hot. Soak it. Let the fat touch the uh, fire. And once it gets hot enough, it should play hot. You get to the point that all the fat in the front bubble needs to fry on. There we go. There we go. Just a little bit. Put it to the side. Let it heat up again. Yep. It is that boring. Okay guys, I'm gonna heat let's speed this up. Alright, so now it's hot again. Turn the flame up more. And Still have all the smoky flavor from the char that the meat left in the plant. And our just a tiny bit more oil. And right now it should flame up. Nope. Right. Smelling it does still smell pretty flambeed. At this point we're also gonna need Pisco, about two ounces. One ounce for the food and one ounce for the And the beef. One ounce for the food. Alright, okay. Beef. That little bit of pisco is essential for the flavor. Right. Mm -hmm. It's a tiny bit of salt, not too much. Okay. 
Now, you deglaze the pan with a little bit of water. If you have chicken stock, this will be amazing. Deglaze the water. That is good. Dangerous. Flame. Oh. There's somebody calling me to tell me that they subscribe to my channel. Alright, three, two, one, go. Just a little bit, remember, this can't wilt. They still have to be crunchy, guys. So fast cooking. Remember, the Chinese, they basically match their stuff. A little bit of pork fat. All my leftover garlic. Aqui amarillo. Heat a little bit. Cheese go. Add the tomatoes. Turn it on here. Turn it on here. Now, what I want you to do is turn off the heat. Add the sauce. Add a little bit of water to the leftover sauce. And there you go. I just got new subscribers. And there we go, guys. This is already gonna cool down. And there we go. <laughs> now it's a plate up, guys. Put your french fries underneath everything. Use it as a base. Soak up all that beautiful juice. Sprinkle cilantro on top. And there we go. Homemade lomo salta, restaurant quality. Well, except for the french fries. I went to the chicken spot and just bought some french fries. I didn't really want to fry today. There you have it, guys. Normal sometimes.